So our original guess the song Dream Theater made an edition was originally supposed to be the conclusion of Metal Month, but as you can see, we kind of got a little bit carried away here. And since you guys liked it so much, we had to come out with, with the sequel. We have to give the people what they want. We do. We appreciate everyone who, who went out and supported that, and uh, especially the DT fans that showed out I know. in the comment section. Some of them wanted to fight you. They yeah. wanted to fight you on the. They wanted to challenge you. They did. They did. <laughs> I also wanted to ask this. I never got to ask this. Dream Theater has such a unique fan base all around the world. So I want to know where you're from. So so let us know how far DT reaches, really. That's that's going to be really interesting to see. Wherever you're from, just leave it in the comments. And let us know how you got into DT, too. That's something I've, I've always been interested in. We're going to do the same rules as last time, except this time we're going to make it a little bit more efficient, a little bit easier for the viewer and also the, the editor. <laughs> yeah. So we're this time going to do 10 songs each. We'll keep the mm -hmm. two rounds. And we're also introducing, especially for Metalhead here, a 15 second time limit to guess the song we'll do the same thing we get a point for the but the title of the song the album and the, the year, year the album or song came out so let's get into it all right lifting shadows off a dream awake 1994 some really nice bass harmonics I yeah I once i heard the once you saw harmonics. awake just if you see awake, once i just saw forget it. about it yeah i knew i was screwed Burn in my soul from 1997, falling into infinity. That's another good one. That's one of my favorites off that album. That's six. should be six overall points. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you knew you knew it was game over. That's Metropolis Part Two, 1999, and that is Beyond This Life. Yeah. One of the most underrated songs from that album. See, I wish we could remove this one so that way you would have less points. Oh, also, I, for <laughs> I forgot to mention that. So we also removed everything that we did from the first album just so we don't get like repeat the, the yeah. inevitable shuffle button that just plays the same song that we did in the first one yeah. count of tuscany black clouds and silver linings 2009 i'm going for the perfect score in this one i forgot to mention that too well that's falling into infinity 1997 but the song title is that maybe take away my pain? Fuck. I thought, yes, we, let's go. <laughs> I thought we were going to get go. a two. Damn let's it. go. That's awake. Voices, 1994. What month? <laughs> what month? <laughs> Did it come out in 1994? Se second half of 1994. Oh, that's. You build me up, you break me down. <laughs> Uh, 2011, dramatic turn of events. A dramatic turn of events. Uh oh, I'm not gonna get this one. Just kidding, it's from Train of Thought 2003, and it's Honor Thy Father. I wanna see if I can get you there. You got me for like a millisecond, okay, but then I saw your face and I was like, He's <laughs> Yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even <laughs> act that one out. Innocence faded, You're getting lucky with this. You're getting lucky. Falls behind I think that's like the fifth awake, song. Awake, Off Awake. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? But when I do it, it's like, oh, Dance of Eternity. Shit. This is an easy one. Yeah. Lay up. The shuffle one button. This shuffle button's rigged. You put some program in here. Down today. <laughs> you put some program in here that makes it so Metropolis, totally, It only plays Metropolis and Awake. That's 10. So that's, that's all 10. That's, so that's perfect. a perfect score. So that's that's the, uh, 30 points. Wow. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, I'm fucked. Fucking dream theater. Yeah, I can already tell you're fucked. Here we go. Ready? I guess. Can you tell by that fart noise what the song was? It smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fucked one. Um, uh, Final Frontier. Oh, it is the Final Frontier. Yes. You got it. It is. Which is 2010. It is 2010, and you want to go for the song? Mm, nah, I don't know. No? I just knew it was from the album. It worked. Oh, this is an easy one. Come on. I think I'd just be able to get the album just by just by listening. Oh, um... I can't do it. The Evil That Men Do? Nope. No, it's... It um, is the Loneliness of the, the Loneliness Runner. Which is 1986. 
That was a little more than a second. I would have known. I love that song. Genghis Kong off Killers 1981. Got it. First three. Ooh, fuck me. Matter of Life and Death? No, Brave New World. I was going to say Brave New World. Oh. I was going to say Dance of Eternity again for the hundredth <laughs> time. Dance of Death, mm -hmm. 2003. Mm -hmm. Songs Dance of Death. Got it. Wow, you got a Dance of Death? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, hold on. X Factor? It is not. It is from the poster you have in your basement. A uh, Matter of Life and Death. These colors don't run. Mm. 2006. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Two Minutes to Midnight. Power Slave, 1984. Got it. That was a cakewalk. That sounds like a Van Halen song. Um, let's go with Dance of Death, uh, which is 2003. I don't know the song. Gates of Tomorrow. Is that Passchendaele? It is Passion Death. Which is off Dance of Death. 2003. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I know this song, too. No. Brave New World? It is not Brave New World. It is Seventh Son of a Seventh oh, Son. Oh, fucking God. I knew it. 1988. 1988, yeah. And that's the title track. Sounds yeah, like that wasn't the greatest round to, to match my, my no, perfect round, so we'll add up the totals. I think it was better than the last videos, though. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we have less, uh, less points here. Oh, good point, good point. 16. To 30. <laughs> yeah, that was easy to add for you, huh? Yeah. Three, three times 10. You saw, you saw I got the Dance of Death this time. I did see you got Dance of Death. I saw you studying. Let's get straight zeros here. Um, let's go switch to a different band. Okay. All right. Astonishing. Astonishing. Yeah. I'll still get the astonishing. You probably will. That was a good song. A change of season. You listen to a change of seasons. Yeah, remember we listened to that time we were working out. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. From Change of Seasons, 1995. And uh, who's on the cover? A little boy. Whoa. In a <laughs> winter beach. Whoa. <laughs> Epstein's Island. Learning to live uh, images and words in 1992. Um, False Awakening Suite, Dream Theater 2013. Do you like sit back with the headphones on, just like play the first three seconds, and you're like, all right, this I've is been it. listening to Dream Theater since I was literally zero years old. So, no. <laughs> true. Your mom had headphones Granted, on. Granted, this did come out in 2013. Oh, true. Kinda, good I point. I just kind of know this. This is a newer one. Uh, finally Free, Metropolis Part 2, 1997. No, 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 it's not Finally Free. It's not Finally Free. No, no, no. No, hang on. I caught, see, I caught myself right, you before you say anything. Oh, yeah. Spirit carries on. Yeah. From, from Metropolis Part 2. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't paying attention here because I've never, this is the first time I'm using Logic Pro with this thing. Yeah. So it's getting towards the end here. I didn't know if, like, GarageBand, I needed to extend it. Like, like oh, good garage, but this looks like it automatically yeah. does it. So that's why I was half paying attention. So that was, that was a save there. That was that was a nice save. I wasn't that was paying good. attention. I was like, yes, he got one wrong on Metropolis. Metropolis. No way. No, that's not happening. <laughs> I know that's fine. New Millennium. This is a great song to learn on a keyboard. Um, New Millennium, nineteen ninety seven, falling into infinity. That's Awake Again, 1994, and that is Erotomania. I do like the keyboard. You ever seen that video of the, the guys playing it? Sorry. Copyright. <laughs> what was I forgot. Have you ever seen the video of the guys playing it on the plastic instruments? Oh, yeah, the, the kid ones? Yeah. I saw them do YYZ. I didn't see them do this one. It was so good. That's they nailed fun. it. Did it's they? It's fucking awesome, yeah. Because this was before um, Jordan, right? Before Jordan Runis? Yeah, this is Kevin Moore. Do you know he's a doctor now? A doctor of what? So Kevin Moore decides all of a sudden one day because he's an emotional lesbian that he's going to quit the band because he no longer likes dream theater for reasons and then he was going to go move to turkey and do film scores for turkish comedy horror movies 
And then he decided that that wasn't for him somehow. Yeah, he moved to Turkey what? and did film scores. And then he decided that he wants to be a doctor. So he came back and is now a doctor in North Dakota. The doctor of what? A doctor of psychology. Oh, fake doctor. Yes. It's yeah. like how my dad described the first drummer rush. Oh, uh, he left the band, got fat, got diabetes, and died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, okay. A little... Uh, that is uh, Metropolis Part 2, 1999. That is Timer Stops, by the way, once I get the, the album. That's another rule I forgot to mention. Huh, all right. This is the one that's after, through my words, called Fatal Tragedy. Yeah. Yes, all right, thank God. I was waiting for it to uh, move so I could read it better. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's why I was paused. I was yeah, like... see, I knew that. That's why it took, took a while. Is it? Is that... Is that why? Okay. Yeah. Forsaken. At least it's not fucking Metropolis again. Chaos, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this shuffle button's great for you. Napalm showers show the cowards. War inside my head. Six degrees. 2002. Six degrees of what? No. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was six degrees of outer turbulence? You're lucky. You want to say this one? Panic Attack. <laughs> yeah, there Arctivarium, you go. 2005. You gotta send me a video of you playing this on bass, so I can oh, just, okay. just have it in the video for context as I... to why, why I had you answer that. <laughs> so it looks like you failed every single round. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was pretty unfair. All right, so now maybe we'll throw some bonus points in there again. We'll have we'll have that bonus round. Well, like, if I can name the, the people that were in the band at the time or something, like... No, we're just gonna, we're gonna do the double round, so if you get a streak of three, we'll double your points. I like this. I feel like I'm on the prices, right? You'll get, you'll get yeah. 18 instead of nine, which should bring you up decently, and then it should, should at least tie you with me. I like that. So it's not over yet. It's not over. So, so we, we still got some hope. And one thing I wanted to add, which I forgot, which I don't know if you... Uh, is that he's not a true Iron Maiden fan? He's oh. he's just he's like uh, here posing. I his, can his I'll Iron do it. I'll do an in depth video if you want on why the new stuff I don't feel is on par with the old stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. if they want. If you leave a comment if you want that. Okay. But the thing I wanted to add real quick was because yesterday was the twelfth. Yesterday would have been Neil Peart's sixty eighth birthday. Oh, R.I.P. So R. I. P. To the rest goat. in peace to that legend. The goat. It's awful, and I just wanted to add that real quick. Uh, that is Children of the Damned, Number of the Beast, 1982. Got it. All right. That's, a, that's, a, good, that's a good song. And now we broke our legs and fell <laughs> off the track. <laughs> I don't think so. This is, this is a, I don't know. I'd be surprised if you totally bombed out on this one. Is this one Fear of the Dark? It is Fear of the Dark. Yes. And it's going to be 1992. It is 1992. <laughs> I can't. Okay, it's Weekend Warrior. Fight of Icarus. Mm -hmm. Peace of Mind, 1983. Sounds like someone just got in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmares to Remember. Dream Theater. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what it... Um, is that X Factor? It is not X Factor. It is... Yeah. It's Iron Maiden. Oh, Iron Maiden, I was going to say. Uh, you got some... Running out of space here for that bonus round. I know. You got six know. more. You you got you got two more shots at a bonus round. I can play this. Phantom of the Opera, nineteen eighty Iron Maiden. Three. Alright. That's a hard this... song to play. Nope. <laughs> no, it's over. <laughs> well, hold on. Um See that's the thing. Oh, man, I just wanna like rant about that. That's literally how all the new songs start. They're all slow and like it is that's why I hate the new stuff. Um, Brave New World. Nope. It mm. is Dance of Death, your favorite album. My favorite album. You heard it first. 2003. If they want that video, I'll do the video. Okay. We're going to do a Dance of Death review. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to just keep saying Brave New World, but that literally... I don't know what to think. Final Frontier? No. It is their latest album. Book of Souls. Yep, Speed of Light. You got seven more, so you need to get these next three in order to even 
come close. I, I think we're past victory right now, but let's try to come close. All right. Is this off um, Seven Sun the Seven Sun? It is. 1988? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, I'm just going to be here no. for an hour. Infinite Dreams. Infinite Dreams, like Metalhead's dreams of winning this game. Matter of Life and Death? Nope. X Factor. Look for Truth. X Factor song. 95. Damn it. Oh, that's off um, 1980, Iron Maiden? It is not. What? It is The Wicker Man from the Nicolas Cage movie. That's Brave New World. I thought Wicker Man was off... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's it's actually from the, the Nick Cage movie. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's add all right. up all these zeros. At least I keep the math simple for you. 13. 30. <laughs> I keep the math simple for you, too. Wow. It's pretty right. good. So yeah, I think I think I think we got a poser in the building here. I don't, I don't think he's a, he's I'll make a the video. Maiden fan. If they want, I'll make an in-depth video, which I think a lot of hardcore Maiden fans will agree why their new stuff is subpar and why I don't listen to it. All right.